friends, Debbie here with Debbie Gets Crafty and today we're going to kit up this diamond painting and it is December so of course it's the big guy, Santa Claus, for Christmas and I thought I would kit up with you today. It's been a while since we visited so I thought I would go ahead and catch up with you and kit up. So this has 24 colors in it. I went ahead already and labeled my containers so I have all 24 I may need more but I have some spares here on the side so if I need an extra pot I can use it so we're going to go ahead and set that right there for now and I will take our picture isn't he gorgeous I love him he actually looks so much nicer on the camera I mean he looks great in person but he really looks so much better. You can see the the reflection in his glasses really a lot better. And so, yeah, it's a nice picture. So let's go ahead and get started. Actually, before I get started, I have my coffee with me. I'd like to take a little sip of that. Hang on. There we go. Cheers to everybody. I hope you're all doing well. So we're going to get started. I have some extra labels here and a pen in case I need it. And I have a tray and some scissors to cut my bags open with. All right. So we're going to get started. I'll open this bag of drills. Here we go. Excellent. And I'll keep that. And I have my little container that I put my packages in, my empty packages. So let's get started. All right, my friends. And how are you today? How have you been? I know it's been quite a while since we've seen each other. And I'm so sorry about that. I'm hoping to change that. It's been just a crazy couple of months. So friends, we're going to start out with Color number one, I'm just going to put my picture over here for a reference, just in case. Hang on just a second here, because of course I have to be disorganized, which is not unusual for me. All right, so number one is, of course, 154, so we'll start there. All right, how are you all doing? My goodness gracious, as I was saying, it's been a crazy couple of months but we are back at it now there we go first pot filled well and of course <laughs> it wouldn't be a debbie gets crafty video of an of a kidding up if i didn't spill drills all over the place that's okay that's why i brought the big boat out today for that very reason and we have a little straggler here there we go and we have a little straggler there all right first pot taken care of we'll move on to the next which is 310 we only have one bag of the 310 oh and i happen to notice we have a few extra 154s right here so with my fingertip. We'll go ahead and pick them up. Okay. There we go. All right, my friends, back at it. So it's a pretty good size bag of 310. But that's all right. It'll all fit in the one pot, I believe. And let us see. We'll go ahead and see if we can't make a mess out of this as well. So, my husband and I had the virus not too long ago, actually over Thanksgiving, so we were out of commission. We didn't even get to celebrate Thanksgiving until the following weekend, because I lost my sense of taste and smell. So there was no sense in cooking a turkey dinner and all the trimmings if I couldn't enjoy it. So, we held off, and we finally had our Thanksgiving dinner, and it was delicious. And so we'll go ahead to the next color. And so we are just enjoying, relaxing during these holiday, this holiday season. 
Uh, we have decided not to decorate this year. We were going to put out some of our nutcrackers, but we actually, with COVID and everything, we just decided to not decorate at all this year. Plus with Spoto, we've talked about this before with Spoto being so young, he's only 11 months old, and he still is in that curious stage. So of course, putting up a Christmas tree and all the decorations would just probably drive him crazy. So we figured, you know what? We're going to skip this year. And we're okay with that. It's actually been very liberating. We've not had to worry about, you know, taking everything out and taking everything out of the boxes and all that jazz. It's just been nice and relaxing. So, I'm going to go on. Hang on just a second, friends. I'm just going to cut these this train up into a few different strips here just to make it a little more manageable. There we go. There we are. Much better. All right. Oh, that's much better now. Okay, so we're on to the next pot which is the letter S, which is 600. We have that right here. There we go. So yeah, we're just actually, we're actually having uh, a really nice relaxing season so far. Just getting back to, to normal after the virus and uh, like I said, Spoto is 11 months old now, so he's getting to be a big boy. And what a little sweetheart. Now we're up to 745, which is the letter Y. There we go. So, how is everybody doing today? Um, oh, we had a spare drill in here from, I don't know when, the last... There we go. I hope you're all well and healthy and enjoying the holiday season with your friends and family and loved ones. I've been working on some diamond painting. I've been working on a cross stitch project. I've got a couple of pr uh, promotion uh, product review packages coming soon. So I'll be filming that, and hopefully I'll be getting back into the swing of things come the new year. And let's see here, so number 7 and B, which is 823, perfect, okay, well, not too many of that color. There we go, and my husband and I are preparing to film our... Christmas premiere video, which is a three-day event, starts on Christmas Eve day, where creators on YouTube, uh, crafting creators on YouTube, film a, a an approximately one-hour video, and to share with all of you. This way, those who may not celebrate or may not be celebrating with their friends or family, can still enjoy visiting with your favorite creators and maybe even meeting some new ones and subscribing to their channel as well. And it's a great community with many different creators that are participating this year in the Christmas premieres. And again, it starts on Christmas Eve day and it usually runs through Christmas Day into the evening of Christmas Day, but there were so many creators that were interested in participating this year that the, the folks who, uh, actually the lady who has run this program, actually added Boxing Day, and creators will be presenting premieres 
all through Boxing Day as well. So that's exciting because there's been such a wonderful turnout. So many creators were interested in sharing some time with their subscribers and those folks who have not yet subscribed to their channels to share the holidays with them. So I think that's a great thing. And so, like I said, it'll be running from Christmas Eve day all the way through 24 hours a day. Each hour you'll see a new creator for about an hour and that'll run all the way through Boxing Day. And so it's very exciting. I will be on Christmas Day. I believe it is 9 a.m. Uh, Eastern Standard Time, which is 8 a.m. Central Standard Time. So I'm very excited about that. And we are on to our next color here. And my husband and I are just uh, getting, we are getting ready to film our video. We have some really neat things planned. Uh, hopefully, if it, if it goes the way I'm hoping it goes, it's going to be a lot of fun and something that you'll really enjoy. And we're really looking forward to bringing it to you. We're going to have a little of everything. It's going to be a nice jam-packed hour of fun. And our next color is 934. All right. There we go. So, yeah, that's what we're doing. That's what we're up to. And like I said, just working on some cross stitch, working on some diamond paintings. That's why I wanted to kit this up because I'm very close to finishing my current diamond painting that I'm working on. So I like to have at least one kitted up before I'm done with what I'm working on. So this way I can just seamlessly go from one project to the next. And again, I like to have at least one extra kitted up because uh, sometimes if I get too busy having like at least one or two, sometimes two, then I can just go from one project to the next to the next. So, but we're just going to kit this one up today. I do have an, another picture waiting that I want to work on. So, who knows, maybe I'll do another kitting up video to show you that one. But for now, we'll take care of this. And we're hoping that with the new year, um, not, not that we're hoping, we're going to, my husband and I, we're going to work on more cooking videos together. I'm going to be working on some more content to take and show you folks with unbaggings and projects. And we're going to get back into the swing of things because I certainly miss you all so much. But you know what, friends? Life happens. And that's exactly what happened with us. Life happened. Not just the virus, but other other factors. And it just took me away from, you know, devoting more time to my crafting. But uh, I'm going to make sure that I get back into the swing of things. New year, new start. You know how that is. All right, friends. So our next color is 15 which is G which is 30 21 nice brown color and that is such a cute picture of Santa Claus enjoying a nice cup of hot cocoa and a freshly baked cookie that was left for him which is always sweet to do on Christmas Eve and some people not only leave something for Santa to enjoy as a snack but they also leave something for the reindeer as well which is always a nice idea I'm sure they appreciate it so the next is you which is 3340 there we go my husband and I 
since we're not decorating this year. You know, we don't have any lights, any Christmas lights or anything up. But um, around our neighborhood, our neighbors are really wonderful and they have such pretty displays. So in the next weekend or so, we're going to take a nice little ride around our our town where we live and take Spoto out for a nice ride and we'll look at some Christmas lights together. Spoto loves to take rides. So it's a lot of fun to, to go and ride with him. All right, so we're up to number 17, which is letter A, and that is 3363. Yeah, he's really good in the car. We have a special harness for him. And uh, that hooks onto the seat belt. So that keeps him safe from running around all over the back of the car. And we also have a special car uh, cover that goes on the back seat to keep it clean. And so our next color is color number 18, which is the letter N, which is 3750. A pretty blue color. So he does enjoy riding in the car a great deal. Um, he falls, he ends up falling asleep. But it'll be the first time he's ever seen like Christmas lights. So we're wondering if while we're taking a ride, you know, how interested he's going to be in the Christmas lights. That'll be fun. And my husband and I, it's almost like a tradition for, for us. We always love to go and check out the lights and the displays. So 3770, 3770, which is a pretty good sized bag. Oh, we got a little straggler there, but that's okay. All right. And of course we are thinking about what types of recipes we're going to present in the new year. So we're excited about that, doing some more cooking videos. Oop. There we go. And so we're just checking that all out. Getting excited for that. Todd's got some baking recipes he'd like to show and share. So we're up to number 20, which is 3801, 3801. A nice red, like an orangey red color. There we go. My husband really enjoys the putting together the cooking videos. Uh, he loves to cook and he loves to share recipes. And he's really very good at, at doing that. And it's a lot of fun working with him on those projects. So, you can look forward to those in the coming new year. We may have one or two coming up in the very near future, actually. There we go. And moving on to the next color, it is letter C, which is 3849. There we go. This is one of my favorite things to do. Honestly, when it comes to diamond painting, I absolutely love the kitting up part. I love it. It's actually my favorite part of diamond painting, the kitting up, followed by the diamond painting itself. And then number three is kitting down, de kitting, or, you know, putting away your spare drills. I'm not a fan of that. I mean, I do it and I love doing it, but it's my least favorite part of the project. I still do it, 
but sometimes I wait until I have a few projects that I need to kit down before I bother to, to sit down and do it. And we're on our last color, friends, which is 3865, which is this beautiful white, almost a cream color. And that's a pretty full bag as well, but I know it'll all fit into the pot once I'm finished pouring it all over the boat. There we go. All done. So, we'll go ahead, put that right in my trash barrel. There we go. Perfect. So we are all kitted up for our Santa Claus. All 24 colors. I didn't need to use any extra containers. I've already labeled it. It says Santa. That's the only Santa picture that I'm doing, so it, I don't need anything other than that as a label. And we are all done. And this is the gentleman that I will be doing, will, that I will be working on when my current project is complete, which it almost is complete. And this bag that we started out with that held on to the train of colors, I will be keeping that. I, I keep, honestly, pretty much all the, the bags that I get, for the exception of the bags with the colors in them for the, from the train. I usually try to keep all these bags because honestly I've had instances where I've had to use these bags for one thing or another and they really come in handy. So with that being said my friends I want to thank you so much for stopping by today while I kitted up my Santa Claus picture my next project and please uh, if you've not yet subscribed please consider doing so. Uh, hit that notification button. You'll be notified each and every time that I upload a video. Also, please hit that like button and leave a comment. You know, it does help. I'm a small crafty fish in a great big crafty pond, and it does actually help our algorithm here on YouTube when you participate and write a comment or when you hit that thumbs up button, especially that thumbs up that lets YouTube know that, hey, Debbie Gets Crafty is... She's a pretty good guy, and uh, she, the, the folks that are subscribing to her like her videos, so uh, that means the world to me as well. Until I see you all again, please take care of yourselves. Watch out for your friends, your family, and your neighbors. Please, friends, be the voice for all those animals that don't have one, and until we see each other again to chat a little bit and uh, visit, from my heart to you, take care. Goodbye now.